Hi friends, Ms. Hernandez here. Um, this week I will be covering the math lessons for first grade. And since it's the beginning of first grade, we are starting our very first first grade math unit. This unit revolves all around numbers, collecting data, analyzing data, and creating different types of graphs. And so to begin our unit, we're just gonna start with a review. These are terms or things that you may have heard in kinder and even pre-K. To begin, we're going to start day one with I can sort and organize objects, okay? And so, well, what is sorting? You may have heard this term before. Sorting means that you can group objects by attributes. And so that means you can make little groups if you had toys or objects around your home, categories like fruits, vegetables, and you can group them by in different ways. And so let's talk about some of those ways that you can make groups. Now the first way is I can sort by shape. So now let's think about it. If you were to gather um, a bunch of stickers or toys in your house, we know these shapes because we've learned those in pre-K and kinder, and you can form tiny small groups within those objects by shape. So you can gather all the triangles and put the triangles together. You could gather all the circles and put the circles together. You could even grab, gather all the diamonds, hearts, triangles, rectangles, all of those, and make little subgroups of the different shapes. And guess what? You just sorted. The next way that you can sort is by color. Um, I see a lot of my friends in my classroom do this all the time with their, with their crayons. So you can gather all of the crayons that you have and you can sort the pinks and the blues and the purples and the reds and you just made a bunch of different groups of different colors. You just sorted data. The third way that you can sort data is by size. And I love this little picture because this is a great representation of how that would look. Now think about the people in your home. You may have smaller feet than your mom. Your mom might have smaller feet than your dad. So if you were to gather all of the shoes in your home, you could sort those in different categories by the attribute of size. So you can have the small shoes together, the medium shoes together, and the large shoes together. And guess what? You just sorted data by size. Now the last one we're gonna talk about is texture. Texture is how an object feels in your hand. So if you were to gather items around your home, you could sort by texture. For instance, I could get all the soft items like a teddy bear or a blanket or a cotton ball. And then I can gather all the smooth things like the book, a book or a fork or a plate. Maybe if I wanted to gather some rough things like a rock or a brick or a bumpy Lego, you just sorted data by texture. And so today your activities and the lesson is going to cover how you can sort objects so that way when you're preparing for your graph, you have sorted your data. Now let's take a look at these objects that I have right here on the screen. I want you to think in your brain some ways that you, can, um, you could sort these objects. Now we learned that there's four attributes that you can sort by. You can sort by color, by shape, by size, and even by texture. Now, I already know that I could eliminate one of those attributes, and that's attributes of texture, because all of these pieces feel the same. But I can still sort by size, color, and shape. And so the first thing that you would do is you would want to gather your data. And gathering means you're just going to bring all your, gathered, all your data to one place. These objects are data. Okay. And now I'm going to use my brain and I'm going to think, how can I sort these objects where I have similar groups? Hmm. Well, I notice that I see, the first thing that I notice is color. And I notice that I have some blues already grouped over here. So that might be an easy place to start. So I'm just going to form little groups and I'm gonna move my other data over so that way it doesn't interfere. And I'm just gonna grab all those blues and put the blues together. And I'm just gonna keep sorting. And you see that, like, I don't need that orange one, so I'm just gonna move it out of the way. And I'm gonna put all my blues together. 
Do I have any more blues left? Nope, I'm good to go on my blue, so I'm gonna just drag them over. Now, the next color that I see that I have a lot of is my oranges, and so I'm gonna do the same thing with orange. I'm going to create some a group of oranges, and I'm just sorting data. And you notice the colors that I know, don't need, I just keep pushing those to the side because I don't need those at that very moment. Okay. And then I'm going to do purple. And so I'm gonna gather my purples and I'm gonna put my purples together. Now I'm not gonna mix my purples with blues because then it would look like one big group. I wanna keep those separate, okay? And now I'm gonna do my greens, my yellows. Oh, what did I forget over here? A green, so I'm gonna put that in my green group. And I only have one red object, and so the red is gonna just be by itself. How did I just sort my objects? Exactly, I just sorted by color. Now let's take a look at my next group that I have. So I've sorted by color. I've already decided that I can't really sort by texture because they all feel the same, but I can sort by shape. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna create small groups of all different shapes. So the first shape that I see is stars. So I'm gonna put my stars over here. And then I see some triangles. So I'm gonna put my triangles over here. Now, is it okay that my two triangles are different colors? Yes, because I'm not sorting by color. I am short sorting by shape. Now, I do have other triangles over here, but these are a little bit smaller. But is it okay that these are small and these are big ones? Yes, because I'm sorting by uh, shape, not by size. So I'm gonna do my, I only have one square, so square is gonna be by itself. I have some rectangles, so those will be together. My circle together and my hearts. I have just short sorted by shape. Now let's take a look at my last group. So I've sorted by color, I've sorted by shape. I can't really do texture, but I can do size. And so that means I'm going to have to distribute my, my um, objects by small, medium, and large. So these objects right here, these two squares and triangle uh, circle are pretty large. So those are gonna go together. That's my large pile. And then, well, this triangle is not as big as that square. So I'm thinking that's gonna be more of the medium pile. These two triangles are the medium pile. And then, well, these stars are kind of, they're kind of medium. So those are also gonna go into my medium pile. And then I have these last objects and these are, these are relatively uh, much more smaller than my large size and my medium size. So that's gonna make my small group. So I have just sorted by size, my small, medium and large group. Now that we have gone over how to sort and the different ways to sort texture, size, color and shape, it is now your turn to apply your learning and sort. In the Seesaw activity, you will find objects around your home and sort those by whichever attribute you choose. You can sort those objects by size, by shape, by color, or by texture. I hope you enjoy your learning activity and we cannot see what you, we cannot wait to see what you have produced for us. Have fun learning.